Well, unfortunately, it's really windy outside. So this is going to be a quick video discussing the rules and whatnot for winning Lomax. So let me get the garage door shut, turn the lights on, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey, there you are. You're on time. What's going on here? You guys feeling all right? Anyways, so this is going to be a short episode. The weather is pretty crappy. I don't really feel like working on Lomax. Um, it's supposed to get nicer. Um, what we're going to do is discuss the rules. So what you need to do is go to uh, whiskeydents.myshopify.com and then purchase a sticker and then you are entered to win. There's 500 stickers total when they're gone. I'm going to put the entire list out and then we'll do a random number generator live and whoever wins it, wins it. Um, I've sold maybe 55 or 60 of the tickets uh, so far. Anyone can buy them and you can buy as many as you want. My mother bought a ticket. Um, I mean, Casey from Casey's Customs, he, uh, he purchased a ticket. Who else? Matt from OK Speed Shop. You should go check his channel out right now. He's actually got a video that's going viral. It's hot. It's uh, uh, a square body Chevy that uh, is more molder moss on it than I've ever seen on the vehicle. Anyways, uh, yeah, go check him out. Great, great video, great guy. Anyways, so anyone can win it. All you gotta do is purchase your sticker and shipping is on me in the lower 48. If you happen to be in Canada or wherever else and you win it, I will get it to the nearest port. So whether it be you're going through, you know, Bonnet, Minnesota into, you know, Canada, or if it's getting shipped to Hawaii, I'll get it to San Diego or Washington or, you know, wherever, or take it to the East Coast or Houston or whatever I got to do to make sure that you get it if you win. And it's only fair, you know? And all of the money that I receive from these builds that I'm doing goes directly back into the channel. Um, I've already taken some of the money that I've won, or I shouldn't say won, that I've gotten for the F600 has bought us a 73 GMC cab over that... Uh, I'm buying parts for it right now. I bought uh, I bought wheels and tires for it. Um, some big semi tires. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I've already talked to numerous people about uh, getting some sheet metal bent up so I can make our own custom box. We're gonna shorten it up. We're gonna do a sun visor across the top. You know, make big bumpers on it. You know, it's gonna really be awesome. Uh, each build is gonna be a little bit better than the last. So. And I plan on giving every single one of them away. If I ever get this done, my homemade 66 crew cab, that's going down the road, you know, like, we'll just keep doing it. I got, I got lots of ideas and uh, I got enough up here that we could run for years and never do the same thing twice. So if you have any questions, by all means, I still respond to every single comment um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoy it. If you got something you think that might help me out, by all means, please share it. You know, it's not going to hurt. I, uh, I accept criticism and, you know, you just grow from it. Maybe you got something worth talking about. You know, maybe not. Nothing, never hurt to listen. So, that being said, go out and get, uh, your stickers. I also have merchandise, I got hats, I got uh, magnets, a bunch of different t-shirts. Um, it's uh, really starting to look good around here. So we're almost to 5,000 subscribers as well. So we are really kicking butt. So make my dreams come true. So I don't have to work for anybody but myself and maybe the wife around the house. Otherwise, you know, make it happen for me. A little help. 
Come on, help me out, would you? All right, we will see you. Oh, that reminds me. Tomorrow night, I'm cleaning the whole shop. Christian's gonna come over. We're gonna take care of the shop, get everything nice and clean, squared away. It's gonna be awesome. Thursday, I'm taking off of work. I'm either working on this, or if the weather's nice, I'll be on the F600. Friday, I'll be doing the same thing. Saturday, Classic Car Revivals and Randomness with Jeff are going to help me get that 73 running and hopefully driving and drive it all the way here and park it next to uh, Lomax so we can get a good look at it because uh, I'd like to get started on that one right away. And realistically, there isn't a whole lot to do left on the F600. I mean, there is, but with an army of people here, we can have it knocked out in a few days. So, Besides waiting on the drive shaft, but you know, whatever. I got connections. I think I can get it done uh, in a timely fashion. Anyways, thanks everyone for the support. Bring it in for the real thing. Oh, thanks. We'll see you guys on Friday evening. Should be a good one. Actually, it's gonna be a great one. Y'all come back now, you have? Oh, you're still here. Man, does that guy ever shut up? I can't wait to get back on this. Um, I need to do a little bit of work with the airbags so that they don't leak. What else we got to do? We got to get the door hinges done. I got uh, one door sitting over here that I need to weld back together. Go back. I got about nine months worth of videos on this crew cab. It's actually pretty impressive. It was a whole bunch of different pickups. and Yeah, I had to go to South Dakota to get it. And, or some of them. And, yeah. So, anyways, that was a whole uh, whole different adventure. I'm well, if the weather is uh, garbage tomorrow, or I should say Wednesday, Thursday, I will be uh, I'll be out here. Maybe I'll put a door together and start uh, start on the hinges. Once I get the hinges done and the doors, you know where they need to be. Realistically, I have to get uh, a hanger bearing put in, drive shaft. Finish the air ride, you know, put the box, which is sitting right there. Put that back on, then I can mount all the air ride stuff. We can throw some seats in it. Dash, steering wheel, shifter, like, all this stuff. Like, I'm almost to the peak of the mountain on this one. I just uh, got tired and needed to take a little break. So, once we jump back on this, we're going to be running downhill real quick, so. Anyways, you guys have a great week. I will see you on Friday. Goodbye. One more thing. I'm going to add on to that on Friday. I put this stack down here just to see what it would look like coming out of there. Uh, I do like it, but I think we're going to stay with the stacks. They are going to be about six, eight inches lower, so they're not so absurd. What else? We still need to paint the back of that. Hopefully... Uh, David shows up with the uh, transmission that I'm going to use on Saturday. Anyways, it's windy out here, so see you guys later.